it's Mary, and I hope that you are doing well. So as part of this week before Halloween, we said that we would do some extra STEM activities. And way back in April, we built a geodesic dome. And when we built that, we used two things. We used gumdrops, we used toothpicks. So today, I want to revisit that activity. Instead of making the smaller toothpick-sized geodesic dome, we're going to use bamboo skewers. So we will have a bigger geodesic dome. So I will get set up here and we'll get started. If I remember correctly, we used about 15 skewers. And if I'm wrong, it comes like a package of 100, so we've got extras. Again, I've laid down a plastic covering on my work surface because I don't want the sticky mess to stick to the table. And we are just going to start putting together five bamboo skewers and we'll just stick them together with the gumdrops. And with the bamboo skewers, they've got one blunt end and one pointy end. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sure that we don't end up with two blunt ends in one gumdrop, because that might make it a little more difficult. to hold together. Now the next step is to take two more skewers and put them in each gumdrop. And I need to be a little more careful with my placement of the skewers into the gumdrops than I needed to be with the toothpicks because the skewers are bulkier than the toothpicks. So there's not as much room in there for them. Now last time I went to do this, I forgot the last two skewers. So luckily I'm remembering them this time. Next step, more gumdrops. So we're going to put gumdrops in each those. So two skewers, one gumdrop, we're forming a triangle. And you want to do that on all five sides. So if you were doing this, you would not need to use the same gummy candy, that, well, the same gumdrops that I'm using, any kind of gummy candy should work. But let's take some more skewers. We are going to attach adjacent gumdrops together with the skewer. And if you are observant while you are making this, you will notice that you're creating a lot of triangles. And that is part of the beauty of a geodesic dome and part of what gives it strength or gives the, stru yeah, gives the structure of the geodesic dome strength because the triangles 
help the weight be balanced or the weight be born by the entire dome instead of just parts of it. So now we are going to add our final five skewers, one in each of the gumdrops pointing up toward the center. And then there's another one that's got a flattened side. So I'm going to put that on the side and use a better quality skewer. And now I bet you know what we're going to do. We are going to connect it all in the center into one gumdrop. And voila, our completed geodesic dome. If you remember, I said the beauty of the geodesic dome is its ability to bear weight, and it is bearing quite a bit of weight there. The reason for that is because when I push down, the weight is transferred by each of the triangles across the whole structure. So it's not any one part of the geodesic dome that is bearing the weight. It is the whole geodesic dome that bears the weight. So I hope that you enjoyed this look back at geodesic domes and our new take on it. And I hope that you'll join us for more of our Explore STEM activities. Thank you.